The senator representing all the senatorial zone in the Red Chambers, Rocha Zokorocha, has accused the Imo State Governor, Hope Uzodima, of masterminding the arrest of his son-in-law, Uche Mosu. Reacting, Okorocha wondered how the police and other security agencies could be used as a tool by the governor to cause pain on innocent citizens during this yuletide. The former governor of Imo State, however, asked the police to make the offense of Uche Mosu public or release him. Uh, at, at, at initially, we didn't believe that this could be an act of uh, police because um, to arrest somebody in a church while he's uh, mourning the mother, uh, I didn't believe that they would have to call from the, from the police. And the manner in which he was arrested and the gun shots, uh, only for us to find out from the plate numbers of the vehicle that they were from government house in most states. So our suspicion was confirmed. I think enough of this is enough. And I've called all people's concern on this matter. And I hate to make this very public, but I'm being tempted. Only a few days ago, the governor has said he's going to announce by 2nd January those who are behind the security in Imo State. I'm sure this must be one of the states he wants to take. This is him, name him, his style of constant lying on daily basis of issues which has resulted to bad governance in Nemo State. But I don't want the police to get involved. I don't want the APC government led by Buhari to get involved in a matter like this that will tarnish the image of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The government of Nemo State is enough embarrassment to this nation and to democracy and must never be allowed anymore to continue to have his way on some of these wicked acts. Meanwhile, the Imo state government has denied any involvement in the arrest of Uche Mosu. Uche Mosu was whisked away amid sporadic gunshots at St. Peter's Anglican Church in Kwere during the Thanksgiving service for his late mother's funeral. One is not surprised the way he's talking incoherently. If you listen to him, you find a man who is panicking, talking very incoherently. First, he says that uh, police came into the church shooting and then the wife approached police shooting and she was not hot. It doesn't make sense to anybody. And then he says that uh, they saw government house uh, vehicles, which confirmed that uh, His Excellency uh, Governor Obuza Duma's hand was in the arrest. You know, but he didn't tell us which number. If he, if he was sane enough and in a, in a good state of mind, with all the sporadic shooting he claimed, to see government house number, he should have quoted at least one, one government house number, so that people can verify. In the same breath, he also says that he called the commissioner who said the order came from Abuja. Yet he's still accusing uh, the state government. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.